Well, good morning. Having a little cafe. I am up early today. It is 61 degrees. Look, you can see the... Um, but it's supposed to zoom up to 91 today, so I thought I'd get out here a little early, do a little chopping of the wood. I'm making some nice wood for guests, so I'll show you what I mean by nice wood. Um, I was able to get a hold of some uh, old cedar telephone poles, and they are not impregnated with creosote, so they're great for burning. And they are old, so, um, but they split nicely, they look nice in the guest room and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go on the journey. Morning. All right, so I could go crazy and just start wailing away on this thing like other people do. But um, I like to have a more precise cut, especially because I'm putting it in the guest room. So um, you can see we have a really nice piece of wood. It already has some cracks uh, across the top here. So what I use is I use a chisel wedge or chisel splitter, whatever you want to call it. It's chisel shaped. And I find it's a much more gentler way and it's much more precise. I don't split it all the way because then it doesn't fall apart. And this one I'm going to put into eight pieces so it's easy for guests to handle. That satisfying clink. There you go. Just like that. Eight pieces. Sometimes I have to split it a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I just use this and ta da. Now I can stack it. There you go guys, another stack of wood in the books. So I feel good. Um, it's really nice wood as you saw, the grain is really fine and uh, it doesn't have a lot of knots in it. So it'll be nice for the guests to um, burn that uh, super easy. A lot of people don't know how to make fires. So if you can get them started with a briquette or you know a fire starter, then they can do a, an easy job of keeping themselves warm, which saves us money for um, gas. What's the word I'm looking for? Propane. That's it. Propane. <laughs> Jesus. So anyway, it saves us money for propane and um, it's free. So yeah, PG&E replaced the poles and some of them are non-creosote embedded. So um, impregnated. 
infused, whatever it is. Anyway, hope you guys are well. I'm Robert Jones, finishing my coffee, and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too hot today. It's supposed to be 91, but we'll see. All right, you guys, take care. Bye. And here's your PSA of the day. Um, if you think you're composting and you're doing a good job by throwing your fruits and vegetables in the garden, make sure you take these labels off. Um, the previous homeowner here did not, and I literally pick these up every time I'm in the yard. Um, apparently she liked avocados. These are non-compostable. They're plastic, and tell your grocers that you don't want them on the food. Or take them off before you leave.